is Katie with Ask Slim. Each week our Level 4 Plus members have the benefit of being able to request analysis on two symbols of their choice and today we're going to look at one of those chart requests. The symbol is SPWR, Sun Power, in the solar energy sector. This is a five-year weekly chart of Sun Power. The black cycle brackets on the bottom are for Sun Power and the gold dashed cycle brackets are for the solar ETF TAN. They're both 20 bars in length and just offset from one another by one week. These purple vertical lines show where the actual cycle lows occurred relative to the average cycle length that's represented by the cycle brackets themselves. So let's take a look at a couple of these past cycles. Starting back here in December 2020, we had this really explosive upside move in Sun Power, reaching the all-time high of 57.52. Then we got warnings with these back-to-back -back bearish engulfing candlestick patterns. Then momentum turned negative. Momentum on our weekly charts is shown with our proprietary reversal scout, this green and purple ribbon on the chart. So we continued to decline through the remainder of the cycle and ended up with a neutral cycle, uh, giving back almost exactly 100% of the move. In the next cycle, another upside move with momentum having turned positive, and we got this tweezer candlestick pattern around the 23.6% fib. Momentum turned negative again, and we ended up sideways downward consolidation, ending with another neutral cycle. Uh, this next cycle had good positive momentum at the beginning, and uh, we got the tag of this um, lower major resistance zone. Momentum then turned negative again, and we declined all the way through the rest of the cycle. Um, but this time we broke through the cycle low support and ended up with a negatively configured cycle. That means the cycle ends lower than where it began. So notice how in each of these cycles, the reversal scout has been keeping us on the right side of the trade. So now for the current cycle, it's been behaving very similarly, an upside move on positive momentum that gets into this re um, resistance zone. We back off from there and momentum turns negative. Again, we broke that cycle low support and almost tagged this 61.8% FIB extension level about $12.5. So now for the past three weeks, we've been getting an up move with the reversal scout still negative, but flattening out a little bit. However, we don't believe that we're done on the downside yet in Sun Power. We think there's one more downside move to come. And the reason why lies in the cyclicality of this symbol. If you take another look at these purple vertical lines and compare them with the cycle brackets, you'll notice how well they line up. So if this candle was the cycle low, it would be coming in a really strange place in the cycle. So instead, it looks more like a mid-cycle bounce, which you can see we got in some of these other cycles to some small extent. Um, these blue vertical dashed lines over here on the right side show a period of time plus and minus a few weeks from the ideal cycle low when we would expect the current cycle to form its bottom and turn up and that time frame is from june 13th to july 22nd so right now we are in this minor resistance area that was created from the cycle high to this recent low and we're expecting a retest of that 61.8% FIB extension level at 12 and a half in the mid-June to mid-July time frame. If we do get below that level, there's another FIB extension level down here at about $9. And this analysis lines up, as you can see, with the TAN ETF, as well as another solar stock we follow on our focus list for solar. So this alignment of cycle lows amongst common symbols is called the principle of synchronicity. And you can learn more about that, about cycle analysis, and about all the tools we offer our different membership levels by visiting us at askslim.com.